everyone. Um, it looks like we still have people joining, so we are going to get started here in just one minute. Um, in the meantime, for those of you that are on, um, if you could just let me know that you can hear me by uh, locating the um, question slash chat module um, on your GoToWebinar panel uh, and let me know um, what your favorite flavor of ice cream is, uh, that would be awesome. Okay, we're just going to wait one more minute. There's still a couple people joining. Um, so far, the most popular flavor is vanilla, which I'm a little surprised by, but that's cool. Um, and I will say I was talking with someone a couple weeks ago whose favorite flavor of ice cream was black licorice, which I didn't even know was a thing, but he loved it. So everyone, everyone's got their own three, oh, own thing. That's great. Um, okay, I think we've got everyone. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> so welcome to the second uh, Give Local NRV training webinar. My name is Dawn, and I'll be leading you through today's presentation. I've got a few housekeeping items to note before jumping in. Uh, first, I want you all to know that the webinar will be recorded and posted in the toolkit on the Give Local NRV site under the resources tab. Um, and you can use the GoToWebinar chat module to send across questions at any time during the presentation. And we'll get to as many as we can after uh, the webinar is over. So I also have Ashley uh, on the webinar from the Community Foundation of the New River Valley. Um, she has been working extra, extra hard to make this giving day really awesome for everyone. So welcome, Ashley. Thank you, Dawn, and thanks so much, everyone, for being here. I can't believe that it is already April 20th, so we are just about two months out from the actual giving day and just about a month out from registration closing. So thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to come and learn a little bit about how you can strategize so that your organization can raise a ton of money on the giving day. That's why we're all here. We want everyone to succeed. And so Dawn has some great tools. Um, we're also really excited um, at the end of the webinar, we're gonna be announcing our prizes and awards for this year. Um, and we've never given away as much money as we're gonna be giving away this year. So we're really excited about that. We have a lot of generous sponsors who've stepped up this year. So hopefully you all are as excited as we are. Um, and I'm going to turn it back over to Dawn so that she can get started. Thank you. Um, so before I get to the agenda, I just want to say too that we're really, really excited to be able to partner with um, the Community Foundation again this year. Um, and, you know, we're, we're also really excited to um, partner with you all to help you with technical support, um, donor support, whatever you need leading up to the day and obviously the day of. Um, just for a little bit of background on Mighty Cause, um, we are a fully functional nonprofit fundraising suite that um, many organizations use 365 days a year uh, to raise money for their causes. And we have partnered with um, the Community Foundation of the New River Valley to be able to provide all of you with a year-round um, NRV-specific uh, fundraising portal. So um, let us know if you have any questions about that. Um, obviously, the you know big culmination of it all is Give Local NRV, but you can use the site year-round. Um, and the Community Foundation uh, has a lot of great resources, along with you know Mighty Cause too. Just has a lot of great resources to be able to support you in that. Um, so let us know if you have any questions um, as we go along. So uh, here's a look at today's agenda. 
Uh, we're going to be going over some of the basics. Uh, then we're going to walk through the prizes available that Ashley just mentioned. Um, and then after that, we're going to go over some of the uh, strategies to raise funds and win some of those prizes. And then at the end, we're going to do the Q&A session. Um, so if you do have a question while I'm presenting, just type it into that chat box of your uh, GoToWebinar panel and we'll make time for it at the end. So Give Local NRV Basics. Uh, Give Local NRV is going to be on June 23rd this year. It is a 24-hour giving day that runs from midnight to midnight. Um, early giving starts on June 1st. Uh, as you all know, it's organized by the Community Foundation of the New River Valley. Um, and the really awesome thing that we've already mentioned twice uh, so far, and we're only on slide five, is that uh, there's $15,000 in prize money available this year, and there's tons of opportunities to win. So we're going to go through all the prizes available later in the presentation. Um, so sit tight. So first things first, um, if you haven't done so yet, you're going to need to register your organization for Give Local NRV. Um, to do that, just go to givelocalnrv.org and fill out the registration form. Um, you'll either need to log into Mighty Cause or sign up for an account on Mighty Cause in order to view that registration form. Um, once you've completed the registration form online, uh, you'll receive an email confirming that we've received it. Uh, and then um, once you've submitted it, then um, you're able to add administrators to your organization's account. Um, that way, multiple people can access um, and help run your campaign uh, for Give Local NRV. So then after you submit your registration, um, our team will review your responses. And usually within about 24 to 48 hours, you'll receive an email confirming that you're approved and all set. Um, and just to clarify too, um, even if you participated last year, you still need to register for Give Local NRV this year um, for the 2021 season. Uh, primarily, that way we all know who's going to be participating this year. Um, we can put you on leaderboards for all the prizes. So make sure that you go ahead and register your nonprofit for the um, 2021 uh, uh, Giving Day. Um, and of course, if you have any questions at all, um, please don't hesitate to email our really awesome customer support team. Their email is support at mightycause.com. So navigating your dashboard. Um, once you've filled out and submitted your registration form, um, the next step that you can take is to complete the items on your to-do list. Uh, this is just a suggested list for just some good things to fill out um, as you're going along. Um, this list will be in the overview section of your nonprofit profile um, for those organizations that haven't checked off all the items. Once you complete your to-do list, then it disappears from your page. So if you um, aren't sure if you've completed it, if you don't see it, that means you are all set. Um, so there's five basic items um, that you'll you know, want to do. Uh, for the to-do list, add the logo, the background image, thank you page, uh, which your donors see after they complete their donation. Um, tell your story so that when donors come to your profile for Give Local NRV, they understand what your um, nonprofit is all about. And then you do have the option to also set up uh, EFT or um, electronic fund transfer uh, for direct deposit as well. Um, if you click on the link for each to-do list task, then you'll be taken right to that spot in your profile where you can um, complete that task. So we try to make it really easy for you to complete the list, uh, but if you do need help or you're not sure how to complete any of the items, just let us know, support at mightycause.com, and we will definitely be able to help you out. And then I also recommend taking some time to get to know your dashboard. Um, your dashboard is the admin section uh, that appears on the left side of the screen when you're logged in and on your nonprofit's profile. So when you log in, you'll automatically land in your overview section, um, which again is where you'll find your to-do list if it's incomplete, as well as metrics for your nonprofit. Um, under overview is the organization page where you can customize your public facing organization profile. Um, toggle on the edit mode, uh, you can include page metrics, like adding a goal for the giving day, um, which enables a progress bar on your page. Um, you can add images. You can add a media section. Um, this is where you can find your story. There's a bunch of things that you can add. You can make it as beautiful or as simple as you'd like or have time for. 
Um, and then below that, um, within the fundraising section, then that's where you'll have the ability to manage uh, fundraising pages and other efforts for your organization, as well as matching grants, which we are going to touch on a little bit later within the strategy section of the presentation. Um, below that section on your dashboard is the reports section where you'll be able to preview and export different um, donation reports. And then the last important section within your dashboard is the checkout section, uh, which we're going to talk about in a few slides as well. Uh, this section allows you to customize your organization's donation checkout flow, um, like your donation form that your donors see and the thank you page that they see after they complete their donation. So uh, really important for you to be able to fill that out and make that your own um, and make sure you know what your donors are seeing uh, when they go through that process uh, for Give Local NRV. And then lastly, um, you can manage your nonprofit settings like URL customization and admin control um, from your uh, settings section. So really quickly, um, to kind of uh, recap on the last webinar that we did, um, I'm going to talk about customizing your profile and the checkout flow, since those are two very important items if you have not already done that um, for your organization to do for Give Local NRV. Um, one of the biggest quick tips that I've heard from nonprofits participating in Giving Days is to just take some time uh, to customize your organization's profile. So your profile is the face of your nonprofit for the Giving Day. You'll definitely want to make sure that it looks good and it represents your nonprofit well. Um, and then just so you know, your profile link, is, that's the link that you'll share with your supporters to ask them to donate to your Give Local NRV page. So to share your page, just copy and paste that URL into an email or a social post or wherever you're advertising the campaign. Um, so, you know, as you're going through your to-do list, you'll want to customize your profile to match your nonprofit's brand. Um, you can change the theme color uh, to match your logo, and the theme color is going to change. You know, you'll see on the image here the blue donate button, the progress bar. So you can change that theme color to represent your uh, match your organization's um, uh, branding. Um, and then you're able to uh, upload media within this profile page uh, to your gallery too. Um, you know, adding that visual interest on your page, keep people on the page. Um, you know, make it interesting for them. Don't try not to make it just like a big block of text. Um, as I'm sure you all know, uh, people have very short attention spans. So when you're able to make it visually appealing for them, add a, add a video, add some pictures to your story. Um, just, you know, as you're going through and kind of telling them what your nonprofit is all about, um, add in some of those elements that you're able to so that people stay on the page and actually read through everything. Um, uh, if they're not sure what your nonprofit is about. Um, you know, this, this profile is really a great place for you to make a strong appeal to donors. Um, you know, tell them why your organization needs their support, show the impact of your work. So spend some time customizing this profile. Um, if you participated in Give Local NRV last year, then your profile is going to um, still be there uh, and have all the content that you had on it for last year. Um, so, you know, I would recommend kind of um, logging in, checking it out, making sure all the information is up to date. Um, updating your your metrics on the page uh, so that you know they they represent this year's Give Local NRV. Um, if you need help doing that, um, you can always email our support team uh, to help you out um, with your page as well. So checkout flow. So the next really important thing I just wanted to reiterate um, again during this webinar is customizing your organization's checkout flow. So uh, again, this is located within your checkout section on the dashboard. Um, the checkout flow is what your donors experience when they make a donation towards your organization. So the first part is to customize your checkout steps. Um, this is probably one of the more important features to focus on when you're setting up your organization's um, profile and account on Mighty Cause. The checkout flow section gives you a lot of control over the donation process. Um, it allows you to uh, opt in to collecting information that you want from donors, like addresses and phone numbers. Um, you can also set up custom suggested donation amounts and add descriptions uh, to help tie those amounts to items or services that your nonprofit provides, which, as you all know, just strengthens your appeal to donate. Uh, and then the checkout steps within your checkout flow. 
um, also allows you, you know, you can preview the whole checkout process without actually making a test donation. Um, so you can see what your final process looks like and use that to edit yourself if needed. Um, and then the post checkout section, uh, which uh, is the thank you page and the donation receipt um, customizations, um, they use the same text editor as the story section on your profile. So you're able to add um, text and links and videos, uh, images uh, specifically to the thank you page. Um, the donation receipt is a little um, less customizable in that you can't add um, videos or images to that, mostly because um, there are several email server or email services out there that kind of strip those things from um, emails. And we always want to make sure that your uh, receipts look very nice to your donors when they get sent. Um, so the thank you page is really where you can go to add all that really visual interest, video, images, etc. Um, and then on the thank you page, you're also able to add a call to action button um, that kind of tells donors where you'd like them to go next. Um, so one idea would be adding that um, uh, call to action that says sign up for our email list and then directing them um, to where they can do that. Uh, and then for the donation receipt, um, this customization that you set appears above the tax deductible um, portion of the receipt that gets sent out. Um, it does get sent out automatically after a donor completes their donation on the site. So um, you do not have to send out those thank yous right away. Um, you can continue to focus on raising money during Give Local NRV. Um, however, during in the report section, you get all of that info. So after the fact, um, then you can definitely send out any handwritten thank you notes that you want um, or you know other uh, personalized thank yous that you want to send. Um, you'll be able to access all that information in your reports, but just know on the actual day, your donors are getting automatic thank yous and receipts um, after they donate. So you can focus on, you know, just kind of getting the message out there immediately the day of. Uh, so moving on from the dashboard um, in your Mighty Cause account, um, I want to make sure that I mention the really awesome tools that you can use as you get ready for Give Local NRV. Um, and that those will all be found within the nonprofit toolkit. So the toolkit is located on the homepage um, at givelocalnrv.org uh, under re the resources tab in the menu. So the toolkit has lots of tips and tricks. It's got um, FAQs, walkthroughs. Um, it also has templates you can use for email and social media. Um, to help you get inspired, um, help you figure out how to promote your campaign. Um, this is also where you'll be able to find today's training recording, um, as well as logos and graphics that you'll be able to download um, to kind of start tying all of your messaging um, into Give Local NRV. So definitely check out the toolkit if you haven't already um, and refer back to it as you're uh, planning your campaign. So now on to the very exciting prizes. I know I'm super excited to uh, talk about them. I know Ashley's really excited to get it out there. So without further ado, Give Local on RV this year has secured $15,000 in funds to give away as prizes this year. There are lots and lots of opportunities to win. Um, prizes this year are gonna be based on a mix uh, between most dollars raised and unique donors. You will definitely wanna head to the rules and prizes tab on givelocalnrv.org to see the complete list and parameters for each prize. Uh, but here is a quick overview uh, to get everyone excited. Uh, so new this year is a peer-to-peer uh, -peer prize that awards the nonprofit who's raised the most exclusively from peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. Uh, the Community Foundation this year is also introducing golden tickets. Uh, which are random chance drawings. So any organization, regardless of how you're doing during the giving day, have the opportunity to win one of these golden tickets. And then a new medium category um, for nonprofits uh, for the most money raised overall is new this week, this year, uh, as well as more inclusive leaderboards, um, allowing you to raise uh, funds alongside nonprofits that are the same size as you, uh, rather than the separate county leaderboards that they've had in the past. Um, that didn't take into account, you know, small organizations competing against large organizations. So there's also a lot of returning favorites this year, um, like the overall leaderboards that award prizes to the organizations that have the most money raised um, and most unique donors. 
um, but this time with small, medium, and large categories. Uh, the video grant award is back, the superstar grant award is back, and there's gonna be five power hours throughout the day, um, awarding $500 to the organization that raises the most during one of these designated hours. So there are tons of great prizes available. Um, definitely go to that rules and prizes tab on givelocalnrv.org. That way you can see all of the prizes available, everything that goes along with them so that you can start thinking about which ones you wanna go after, um, how you're gonna strategize around them. Um, and then of course, all of the rules involved um, around each of the prizes too. Okay. Um, so moving into now some campaign strategies um, that will hopefully kind of uh, get your wheels turning in, um, you know, how can I win some of these prizes? What can I do to really strategize around some of the power hours available? Um, what can I do if, if I win a golden ticket this year? What can I do to promote that to my donors to get them more interested in um, donating uh, during the day? So we're going to talk about um, all things strategy. Um, coming up. And then after that, uh, we'll have the Q&A session um, as we wrap up. So uh, first things, leaderboard strategy. So the leaderboards provide the biggest prizes available in Give Local NRV, and they really are the key, uh, you know, to um, getting your donors invested. Uh, because if you promote the leaderboards, um, those donors are going to help you climb the leaderboard. So if you're in, you know, 10th place, um, you're very close to the, um, you know, next uh, ninth place. Um, take a screenshot of those leaderboards. Uh, send them out on your social media. Blast them out in your email. Let donors know where you stand during the day. Um, help them to keep tabs on your position. Um, that way, you know, they they get very excited about where you stand on everything. Um, really emphasize how much is at stake. You know, how much could a thousand dollars do for your charity if you win? You know, what would that help you achieve? Tie everything back into your overall messaging about, you know, what you do and why you do it to get people really excited about helping you win that money and move up those leaderboards. Um, especially this year with the small, medium, and large categories, um, there's going to be a lot more movement. Uh, around the nonprofits that are participating. And so you'll have plenty of opportunities, um, you know, as you're, you know, diving into everything to uh, send your donors um, information about where you stand during the day um, on during Give Local NRV. Um, so, you know, another trick with uh, spreading the word with the leaderboards, you know, concentrate on sustaining that momentum, keeping the fundraising going, um, and starting and finishing strong. So you're, you're, Overall messaging with the leaderboards don't have to just be help us climb up, but you know it can be help us stay where we are, or um, you know uh, help us be you know two two spots up. So think about it. Um, come up with some preliminary messages that you think you might send, um, and then as you're going through the day, uh, try and adjust your strategies um, based on your position on the, in the leaderboards. Um, and of course, you know screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. Take pictures, send them out tweet them. Um, and of course, we're going to have a, um, a social media feed uh, the day of. So as you're, you know, promoting your leaderboard um, position, that will show up on the um, Give Local NRV uh, social media feed that shows up on the main page. So, you know, it's just more promotion for you as people are coming to the site. Um, another uh, tip so since Give Local NRV is a 24-hour event, um, the trick to making the most of it is to really sustain that fundraising momentum. Um, one great way to do that is making sure your campaign um, and, and making sure your campaign is, is on track is to set mini goals for your organization um, to help generate buzz and really build excitement. So set those mini goals for um, certain hours of the day so you can get people excited about your own goals um, and then obviously continue working towards those top prizes that are available um, mini goals do help sustain your fundraising momentum and get people excited um, about helping you win those prizes that are available so to set mini goals you'll want to think of your overall fundraising goal and what you'll need to raise um, or you know how many donors that you need to get um, it, let's say you're going after one of the unique donor prizes, um, think about the goal that you have, um, you know, and, you know, should you set one for an hour, 
um, a, a goal for each hour of the day or a section of the day um, to reach the goals that you have. Um, be sure to keep in mind as you're going through this, um, when keep in mind when your donors are most active um, to adjust your hourly or section goals accordingly. Um, so if you know that there are certain times of the day that will be slower for you, um, you may wanna boost that time period by utilizing a matching grant um, to kind of shake things up and keep your messaging fresh to keep people involved and engaged with your uh, nonprofit Daring Give Local NRV. Um, something else that you can do to get your campaign rolling is to ask for seed donations. Um, these donations from people in your organization's inner circle that essentially break the ice with donors because um, you know if people come to the page and they see that people are already making donations and there's momentum on your page, they are more likely to donate um, to your organization during Give Local NRV. The seed donors help get the ball rolling. Um, and you know, people to ask for for a seed donation um, would be your board, staff, um, especially those who are director or C-suite level leaders at your organization, volunteers, really anyone at your nonprofit who's highly engaged in your work. Seed donations do not have to be huge donations. You know, they can give $10. Um, getting a little bit in the bank uh, by tapping the people in your inner circle really does help your campaign move forward and get those donations coming in. So as you're planning for the day, as you're thinking and strategizing, make sure that you ask those key people, hey, can you donate first thing in the morning during Give Local NRV? Um, or, you know, even better, once early giving starts, ask them to start, you know, making donations during early giving so that once Give Local NRV starts, your organization already has momentum and is showing up on the leaderboard with dollars raised. So um, a great strategy for driving donations on a giving day is securing a matching grant. So a matching grant is essentially a large donation that your organization leverages to bring in other smaller donations by offering the large donation up as a match. Um, so for instance, if you had someone willing to give you um, $500 or $1,000, instead of just putting that money in the bank and calling it a day, you could use it as a matching grant. So you'd take that $1,000 and say to your supporters, you know, hey, between this hour and this hour, donations will be matched up to $1,000, which basically allows those donors to double their donation. Um, you can do a lot with the Mighty Cause matching grant tool, um, like setting a cap for donation matching. So um, you, you do that if, you know, that way someone doesn't come along and make a really big donation and eat up your entire match. There's lots of different settings that you can um, do to make your matching grant your own. Um, it's a really cool and complex little tool that just allows you to do a lot with your matching grant. Um, and on our platform, we've seen that matching grants, especially on a giving day, can be a very powerful way to drive donations. So I highly recommend, um, you know, kind of thinking about if you want to do a matching grant, there's still plenty of time um, to kind of get one set up, explore the functionality, um, and see if that's something that you want to do. So, you know, since a matching grant is ultimately just a large donation, you'll want to follow the same process as you would when you secure major gifts. So you prospect, you cultivate, and you ask. Um, people you should consider as prospects for a matching grant are board members. And you know, when I say um, board members, a lot of times you can have them pitch in um, so that one board member isn't giving you know, a, a large amount. You could get all of your board members to give a smaller amount, and then that way you could set up the match and the sponsor would be your nonprofit's board. Um, so that's one idea. Um, you know, sometimes an individual board member will be happy to provide a matching grant, um, but um, I've seen it work really well when, you know, you can ask your board to work together to provide that match. Um, so major gift donors uh, who've given a large amount to your organization in the past are also good prospects. Um, and providing a matching grant for those major gift donors can be a fun way to liven up their donations. So, you know, instead of just writing a check, um, they're helping your organization grow and drive other donations. Um, and you can also give that major gift donor some extra recognition when you're promoting the match. So, you know, major gift donors who like a little shout out are, you know, an even better matching grant prospect. 
Um, corporate sponsors are also good prospects. Um, it's a really fun, um, proactive way for um, you know businesses that you're connected to to get involved in Give Local NRV, and it really helps um, draw attention to that company's philanthropy. Um, so. At this stage in the game, you know, you can start making phone calls, setting up emails, um, start cultivating these prospects by letting them know what you're doing, um, seeing how warm they might be to the idea of getting involved in having a matching grant um, for your Give Local NRV campaign. Um, and then, of course, in the coming weeks, you can make your ask and shore up the details of the match. Um, you can have more than one match running at the same time on Mighty Cause. Um, you can also queue matching grants to start one after the other. Um, so if you get a lot of great responses, please don't feel like you can only pick and choose just one. You can set up as many or as few matching grants um, on Daring Give Local NRV as you want or are able to. So at the end of the day, um, a matching grant is a marketing tool. Um, so in order to make the most of your matching grant, you will definitely need to promote it. So the first step is going to the matching grant tool on your Give Local NRV um, organization profile and adding your matching grant there. There are some marketing tools built into the platform for your matching grant, um, such as putting a sticker on your donate button when the grant is active. Um, there's some changes to your checkout process to reflect the match and the match gets listed on your organization profile. Um, you'll also wanna add some information to your story um, about your match, especially if it's a big match, and of course, promote it on your social media channels. You know, send out an email, um, just make sure all of your followers, your supporters know about the match. Countdowns add urgency as well. So counting down and sharing your progress toward the match can be a great way to get people excited um, and urge them, you know, to stop what they're doing and making a donation and make a donation towards your cause. So um, make like a matching grant is a great way if you know that there is kind of a more more of a like downtime um, for your organization and your supporters during the day. Um, try and get a matching grant going during those hours to spur more activity. Um, that way you have fresh messaging during during those specific hours. Another idea is to um, secure a matching grant. Um, and have it have it uh, get matched the same time as one of the power hours. Um, that way, you know, not only are you securing a matching grant um, and getting those extra donations during that power hour hour, <laughs> um, but you're also, you know, um, working towards winning that power hour. So um, it's just, you know, it could be a double win for you um, if you do end up securing the power hour win as well. Um, so moving on from matching grants, uh, I want to talk a little bit about ambassadors. Um, ambassadors are people who are usually in your organization's inner circle who can help boost your campaign. Um, so that includes board members, volunteers, um, especially ones who are highly engaged. Uh, it includes staff members, um, et cetera. So utilizing ambassadors can help you kind of break out of your list of existing donors um, and engage new people. So people that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. So an ambassador can help you in a few different ways. Um, they can simply share a link to your page um, within their social circle to ask them um, to donate and boost your campaign for Give Local NRV. Um, so if you have a board member, for instance, who's very well connected, this could be a really big boost. Um, or ambassadors can help by getting involved in peer-to-peer uh, -peer fundraising as well. Um, so peer-to-peer -peer fundraising is a fundraising technique where you basically um, deputize your supporters to fundraise on your behalf. Um, the Mighty Cost platform is set up for um, easy peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. Um, this can be a really great way to shake up your campaign, and it's a great way to acquire new donors. Um, so if you wanted to try peer-to-peer, -peer, um, you would basically ask your supporters to set up a fundraising page for your organization um, on Mighty Cause uh, for Give Local NRV. Um, this may sound like a big ask, but it's often a really fun way to engage your biggest supporters and allow them to tell their own story about your organization, you know, how they came to work with you, why your work is so important to them. And this doesn't distract or draw attention away from your campaign because they are, they're really operating alongside um, your Give Local NRV campaign. They are reaching out to people they know personally for donations. And in most cases, their friends and colleagues and family are not people your organization would have access uh, to solicit for donations. So 
you're actually picking up new donors through peer-to-peer -peer most of the time, um, which is always a really great thing. Um, so for people like your board, volunteer staff, um, program alumni, this can be a really great way for them to get involved without just being asked to give money. Um, it can make it just give local NRV this year be a much more meaningful uh, campaign for them than just making a donation or sharing a link. And it can actually be a part of your stewarding process as well, um, building and sustaining those relationships with that with that supporter that you ask. Um, I've seen organizations get some really great peer-to-peer -peer action going by just inviting people on social media or sending them an email asking them for help. Um, for younger people who have a big social network um, and are really comfortable online, um, you know, maybe they don't have a lot of cash to give, but this could be an excellent way for them to help out and make a meaningful contribution. Um, and then, you know, to help make things easier for them and for you, um, you can set up a fundraising template for them within your account, you know, share some images, talking points, facts, um, logos with them. Um, you can offer to help them set up their page since um, hopefully you're pretty comfortable on the platform. Um, organizations that utilize peer-to-peer -peer fundraising tend to raise more money on giving days. So it's definitely worth, you know, talking about how you can incorporate um, it into your campaign strategy. Um, the timeline is really great for you to get started on this so that come late May, you can start asking people to, to set up their fundraisers so that you can begin raising money um, starting on June 1st. Um, so if you do manage to generate a lot of interest uh, in peer-to-peer, -peer, um, or you know, you've done that uh, for Give Local NRV in the past and you wanna try something new, um, you could consider trying out a team or event fundraising. Um, teams and events uh, that, co that go along with Give Local NRV um, can be a really great way for groups of people who wanna fundraise together, um, like your board, uh, or any companies that you're involved with, their employees could start a team benefiting your nonprofit for Give Local NRV Day. Um, so teams and events, uh, you know, um, can just be a really great way to get people working together and united for your cause. Um, inspire some friendly competition to keep them motivated. And the difference between teams and events is basically that an event allows individuals and groups of people to participate and fundraise together, while a team fundraiser is a group of individuals working together toward a collective goal. Um, so the cool thing about using our teams or events products for, for the giving day is that there's tools built right into the, um, your account to make managing it much easier. Um, for instance, you can create a template fundraiser that people can use to set up more quickly um, and pre-fill some sections of their page. Um, you can also email team and event members through the platform to keep them motivated. Um, so these are just essentially more complex peer-to-peer -peer campaigns, uh, but they can be a really great option if you've got a lot of people willing to fundraise for you um, or you wanna try something new. So instead of setting up a matching grant with your board, you could get your board to set up a team uh, benefiting your organization uh, during Give Local NRV and they could compete against each other to see which board member could raise the most. So just another um, idea. Uh, the you know in, kind of introduce you um, if you haven't already utilized the functionality um, for Give Local NRV. So um, moving to email and social strategies next. Um, your email list is going to be one of your most important tools during Give Local NRV because as you all know, emails are um, one of the direct lines to your supporters. So. Unlike social media, you don't have to worry about an algorithm getting in your way or preventing people from seeing what you send them. Um, because unless, unless they've like unsubscribed, they, your emails will end right up in their in inbox and probably send them a notification on their phone as well. So I wanted to talk a little bit about email strategy because that's going to be really important for Give Local NRV. Um, so in general, you'll want to keep emails relatively short, simple, and skimmable. Um, most people read their email on their phone these days, so they're not going to want to read a novel. They want to be able to just skim it and get to the point. You know, people are much more likely to read emails that pertain directly to them, so I highly recommend segmenting your email list by sorting donors into a few key groups. Um, donors who have given a lot or give on a regular basis, one-time donors, um, people who have utilized your services but never donated, um, your board, volunteers, um, and so on. You do not need to craft entirely new emails to each of these groups, 
uh, but you can tweak small things about the emails for each group to just make it more personal. Um, so for instance, in an email to volunteers, you want to acknowledge how they already help your organization. Um, and you wouldn't want to send an email to a major gift donor, you know, asking for a $25 donation. Um, so identify your key segments, um, figure out how to tailor your message to them. Um, when an email is tailored to who the recipient is and the relationship they have with your organization, they are much more likely to read it and take action on it. Um, so how you segment depends on the program you're using, but most services like Constant Contact and MailChimp um, use tags to segment groups of people in your email list. Um, one other thing that you will want to uh, pay close attention to is the timing of your emails. Um, I would recommend taking the time to schedule as much as you can beforehand. Um, that way um, you can have you know, um, everything ready and then uh, make sure you have template emails ready for things that you need to send out day of. Um, so like a blast email asking people to help you get to your campaign goal, um, an announcement that you won a power hour or a golden ticket. Um, so as I mentioned before, most people read their emails on their phones these days. Um, so make sure that you choose a mobile friendly email template and test it out beforehand. So try it on an iPhone, an Android, um, et cetera, to make sure that it looks the way that you want it to look. Um, and then leading up to the event, um, I also recommend doing some A-B testing, especially with subject lines, because you'll want to make sure people are driven to actually open your emails for Give Local NRV. So, you know, try out different subject formats, try things like adding emojis, see what works better. So when you're sending out those critical emails, you'll have an idea of what tends to work with your email list. Um, A-B testing, if you're new to that term, uh, is basically splitting an email up 50-50 and testing a variable. Um, so let's say you're testing a button color or a subject line. Um, half your list gets email A with one subject line. The other half gets email B with another subject line. And whichever email gets the most opens basically wins. Um, so for the button color or placement, the email with the most clicks would win. So you just want to be careful about testing too much, throwing in too many variables, because then it's, you know, it's really hard to say why something won um, and performed better. Uh, lastly, with emails, um, your call to actions within your emails should be clear and action oriented. So give now, donate now, help us today. Um, more passive calls to action like um, thanks for donating or please contribute, um, those are not as effective. You want to be crystal clear and urgent um, with your uh, text. So. For a high stakes day, um, I really recommend staying in your comfort zone when it comes to social media. Um, go where your audience is, go where you're comfortable. Um, so what I mean by that is, you know, if you've never logged into, um, let's say TikTok before in your whole life, um, you do not need to use TikTok for Give Local NRV. Um, if you have a thousand followers on your Facebook page, but only a handful on Instagram, then you should spend way more time and effort on promoting your campaign on Facebook than Instagram. So, you know, put your effort into the platform where you're most likely to reach people and have an impact. Um, I also like email. I recommend scheduling any posts you can ahead of time just to save yourself trouble during the day, um, you know, and leading up to it. Get your key content scheduled uh, with Facebook's publishing tools or Creator Studio. Um, go into TweetDeck and schedule your tweets. Save any live posting for stuff that needs to be done same day. So, you know, thanking a donor, um, updates on your progress, prize announcement. Um, and then to that end, uh, you'll want to assign a point person, um, if you can, to monitor social media so you can quickly respond to comments and interact with your followers since, you know, that is important on social media. And interaction can actually... Um, help you in terms of the algorithm since most platforms show priority to post with lots of engagement. Um, so if you're able to, um, I do recommend budgeting a little money um, to boost some posts or promote some tweets. Um, and on social media, $20 for an ad can actually go a long way. Um, so you'll wanna make sure your ad is targeted properly. Um, and if you're not sure how to target an ad, you can always default to just targeting the people who like your page or already follow you. Um, and in terms of the type of content that will do well on social media, it depends a little bit on the platform, but in general, photos and videos do really well. 
Um, and you may want to consider doing something out of the box, like um, a Facebook Live video or, um, you know, a group socially distanced or, uh, you know, kind of screenshotted together group uh, watch party um, to help generate some budge, uh, budge, <laughs> buzz um, while delivering algorithm friendly content. Um, so this is another reason why, you know, taking screenshots of the leaderboards during the day, um, just constantly um, keeping people updated with where you are on social media. Um, that way, um, you know, your your posts don't get buried in their algorithm, um, especially, you know, people, um, I, well, I'm sure some people are on social media all day long, but for those of people who aren't, um, making sure that you're continuously posting so that they can stay up to date, your posts are are right up there in their newsfeed. Um, that way they do not miss them. You'll wanna make sure um, that you do that. Um, we do have a, um, a very comprehensive uh, resource within the toolkit all about social media strategy. So if you want um, to kind of dig in a little more on this topic, um, I would I highly recommend going to the toolkit and checking out that um, social media uh, uh, PDF that we have in there because um, it is pretty comprehensive and um, hopefully you'll learn something new. Um, finally, uh, when you're planning your campaign, um, follow up is very important to consider as well. So, you know, don't just think of what are we going to do um, leading up to it? What are we going to do day of? Always include, um, make sure that you include your um, follow up with your donors um, after Give Local NRB is done as well. Um, you know, plan your thank you to your donors in advance. Um, you know, if you wanted to make a thank you video or a photo of your staff, um, have all of that stuff ready uh, before Give Local NRV even happens. Um, you know, make sure that you talk about the impact of your funds that you raised um, and, and close the loop on your campaign. So if you were fundraising for something specific, like a new piece of equipment or improvements to your building or something like that, um, um, you'll want to make sure that you include that in your giving day follow-up. Um, you'll also want to send emails periodically um, on your progress. Um, so um, as you're planning your giving day follow-up, um, make sure that you've got an onboarding plan in place for any new donors that you acquire. Um, you know, uh, mailing them a welcome packet can be a great way to get them onboarded. Um, you can also create an automated email journey where they can get more information about what you do and why it's important to um, support your work. Um, so just make sure that you, you know, set everyone up for, um, you know, to get that thanks. Um, and as I mentioned before, um, your your donors will get an automatic thank you and receipt after they complete their uh, donation. But um, as I'm, you all know, it's very important to get that personal um, thank you and follow up as well. Um, so make sure that you have all of those uh, set up and ready to go. Um, uh, so that right after Give Local NRV ends, you can um, quickly mail those out, quickly email those out, um, quickly send people any thank you um, video picture that you have um, so that they kind of get the, the full experience um, and get the warm and fuzzies for your, for your organization. Um, so as we wrap this up, um, I want to make sure that our support team's contact information is here for you to reference. Um, they are a great resource before and during um, the uh, giving day for anything campaign related. So, you know, if you need help setting up your direct deposit, if you need help figuring out how to strategize around any of the prizes, uh, if your donor needs a receipt reset, um, you can reach out to them anytime. Um, so um, their email is here, uh, their availability, and then also their phone number. Um, and then on the actual Give Local NRV site, um, there is a contact us. Uh, tab on the home page you can click that fill out the email form and they will be in touch with you um, very quickly okay let's see what questions we have um actually do you have any uh thing to add while i'm checking this out no i don't have anything to add um, i'm just really excited about this year and um hopefully the growth that we'll see and having more awards that we can give out. Um, but I'm happy to help answer questions too, if there's any. Okay. Um, it looks like we just have one question, which I am happy about because I think 
hopefully that means the presentation was very comprehensive. Um, but she is wondering what constitutes a medium organization, which I think you will be able to answer. Yes, yeah, so um, during the registration process, one of the questions is what is your organization's budget? And when registration closes, what we're gonna do is basically take the organizations who registered and um, cut them up into threes. Um, so the top third is gonna be considered our large organization. The bottom third is gonna be our small organizations and those in the middle are gonna be the middle organizations. And so we won't, you won't know what category you're in until the giving day when the leaderboards are posted. Um, let's see. Uh, the next question is, where will this presentation be posted? Um, so the presentation is going to be posted on the Giving Day site, um, so not at the Community Foundation of New River Valley's um, website. Um, so you'll want to go to givelocalnrv.org. Um, that is the Giving Day site, and then that's where you'll see a tab that says Resources, and then um, one of the sub uh, items within that tab is nonprofit toolkit. So it'll be in the toolkit under the resources tab. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, but if you aren't able to find it, um, then please don't hesitate to email support at mightycost.com and we can send you the direct link. Um, that is all the questions that we had. Um, if anyone thinks of any questions after the fact, um, then just let us know. Um, I know you can email Ashley uh, with any questions. You can email um, us, support at mightycause.com. Um, we will be more than happy uh, to answer any questions. Um, if you think of, you know, if you are driving, driving home or, you know, chopping a vegetable tonight for dinner and you're like, oh, I should have asked that, um, then feel free to email and uh, and we'll be happy to help. Um, but yeah, that is that's all that's all I have for today. Um, uh, hopefully, everyone will do something super fun for the um, remaining eight minutes um, that you now have back in your day. Um, but uh, Ashley, thank you so much for joining me um, for this uh, the second uh, strategy webinar for Give Local NRV. Um, we again are really really excited to partner with you all um, and provide you know this. Um, help provide this resource for everyone um, and I personally am very excited to uh, see how everyone does the day of um, to raise funds for the New River Valley. Thanks Dawn, thanks everyone. Have a great day!